So it's wonderful because we are talking about the sacral chakra. And like I said, this idea of um, creativity and, you know, sensuality and sexuality and our expression with one another. Um, what we're going to actually make today is a butternut squash risotto made out of sunflower seeds. There's no grains in this recipe. And it's because I know that, you know, there's a lot of people who, you know, we all have our dietary restrictions and we all have different ways of exploring food. And what I really love about this recipe is that it's taking something that we know, which is rice, and you know, looking at it in different ways. This is that creativity. How can we create something? How can we transform something that we know into something else? So sunflower seeds are great. They're easier to do than risotto. You don't have to labor hours over the stove. It's much quicker. And you know, it provides a nutritional value that we wouldn't necessarily get out of the grain, that rice. Um, and I'm gonna be using also, I'm gonna be making a shiitake bacon. And the reason why I wanted to include the mushrooms is because as we've been talking about with the, the sacral chakra, there's this interaction with the world. There's this interaction with, uh, there's this idea of connection, right? Like we are coming into our own creative power. We're coming into our understanding of our gifts, our life force, but then we're also looking at it to be in relationship to one another. It's this connectivity. Now, the, the mushroom is like just such a amazing organism, organism. <laughs> right? It's not an animal and it's not a plant. It's yeah. its own fungi. They're fun. Mm -hmm. And they are, you know, I, I don't know how much people know. There's a wonderful movie called The Fantastic Fungi. I highly recommend watching it. But, um, you know, there's the mycelial network that like goes through all of the ground that we're on. This is the network through which plants communicate to one another and mm. signal to one another. It's the internet system of the plants. But if you think about it, it's a re like representation of nature. We have it in our circulatory system. We have it like we are constantly communicating with different parts of our body. They're constantly communicating. And adapting, with right? Say that again. And adjusting. And adjusting and reacting. Yeah. So, you know, that's why I'm, and, you know, I like to use shiitake mushrooms. So, shiitake mushrooms are wonderful for, you know, what we know as the umami flavor. You know, this is that fifth taste. You know, there's bitter, salt, sweet. What am I missing? Salt, sweet, bitter. Uh, sour and umami being the um, the fifth taste, and you know for the longest time they weren't sure if umami was like just a combination of the different receptors, you know, of the tongue. But now they're understanding it's its own thing, and what it's actually you know responding to is um, you know a chemical compound in this that you know eventually leads to an amino acid called glutamic acid, which is something that we need in our body to build protein. Now, it's, you know, it's what gives the, you know, that like robust flavor to food when you're like, oh, that just that feels like nothing was missing. There's, you know, a completion in that food. There's that earthiness um, that comes from the umami. And so shiitakes are a great way to do it. So I like to use fresh shiitake when I can find it. Um, you'll often find them with the stem. Um, the stems are really fibrous. So I take them out. And then I use them, as you remember, I think Ariel said that you oh, yeah. made stock, right? Oh, so, I made the best broth ever. Stock? Yes. Yeah. So okay. it's wonderful. You just save, like, you know, when you add shiitake stems to, like, I put this all in a bag. I, you know, I got my onion peels in there. I got garlic peels, all the peels, all the other stuff that you don't use. Then you... Um, add that to your soup stock, you, you know, boil it for 40 minutes to a couple of hours. How you can even leave it on the stove, it's fine. You're just taking out all the nutrients out of all these leftover things. And then you end up with a wonderful stock. Now, this is the stock that I have, and this is what I'm going to be using for this risotto. And so it's wonderful because you're using everything. You're reducing the waste. You're getting all the nutrition out of food. Now, if you cannot find um, fresh shiitake, you can always buy dried shiitake. And dried shiitake comes, it has, you know, it's so, oh, I can't even see if you can see that. That's but, good. um, <laughs> what? No, that was good. The stock yeah, is so, 
So, you know, you'll find them with and without stems. Again, I suggest that like, you know, here, for example, this is, you know, a, a cap with a stem, taking off the stem because it's extremely fibrous and you'll find yourself kind of like trying to get through it and it's just not pleasant. So use the stems for your stock. Um, and, you know, if you use dried shiitake, just rehydrate it, boiling water for 20 minutes and then that's good. 